I wasn't sure if I wanted to film this, but this is technically my very first vlog. Um, and the reason I want to film it, I was just thinking that I need to prepare for school tomorrow and it's a brand new semester and it's going to be online. And then we have some classes that we have to go in person for. Um, so I was just thinking I should prepare for school and I thought I'd bring you guys along and just kind of show you what I do to prepare for a brand new semester. Um, so yeah, if you want to follow more about physical therapy stuff, make sure to like and subscribe and also follow me on Instagram at aspectamon. Um, and so pretty much I am barely starting my day right now. I just got out of the shower and, um, and I still have to dry my hair. This is just like my wet hair and I have to make my bed. As you can see, it's kind of messy. Um, and then we're going to kind of get started with our day. So some of the things that I need to do today are going to be, there is, um, preparation for classes. So that pretty much means like looking at the syllabus, um, seeing what I need to prepare for tomorrow. Um, every single time there's any class, you pretty much have work that you have to do ahead of the class time. So there's always going to be work. Um, to be done before the classes even start. So I have to make sure I have the, all that work done. Um, I really want to clean up my room a little bit. It's not super messy, but I just, I like it really clean, um, especially because of the pandemic. It's like I spend literally like my entire day in my room apart from like maybe three or two to three hours maximum that I spend out of my room. Um, so pretty much I like it pretty nice and clean. Um, I'll show you guys what my desk looks like right now. Okay, so this is what my desk looks like currently. Um, not a lot going on here, just like my coffee cup. I've got um, this big thing that I use. Pretty much I like to look at my entire month, um, see what tests are coming up, etc. So I use a really, really big thing. Um, this is just a notebook I use for just the most randomest things. Honestly, it's like one of those bullet journals. So pretty much make it into anything you want. Um, a lot of pens, I have to say I don't really use pens a lot, um, only to like right here because I don't use, um, paper and pencils majority of the time for all of my classes. Um, and then a cute little candle that my friend gave me. I love it because it's coffee and it just brightens up my mornings. Um, and then, yeah. Oh, and here is pretty much my, um, like my school badge. The reason that I have my badge on my desk is that every single time that there is any sort of testing um, to be done, we have to show our badge, um, we have to take a photo. It's like the whole lockdown browser thing. Um, if you guys are also you know, taking classes during the pandemic, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So that badge pretty much just stays um, on my desk. Other essentials that I have actually are um, these refreshed tears. <laughs> My eyes get so just dry and tired from like looking at the computer screen all day, every day for all these classes. So I have to have that. Um, also, I will have my glasses very handy for myself. Um, I need them majority of the time when we're taking classes, um, especially when I feel like my eyes are getting tired and um, then I'll definitely put my glasses on. Um, and then water. I constantly have my water bottle around me. Um, I think it's one of the things that I mentioned in my uh, Zoom online classes video. Um, I drink a lot of water when I am in these online classes. It really helps me stay awake. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to just go ahead and start my day and take you through it. So I thought I'd start out by just drying my hair. Um, I usually like to straighten my hair. I have really curly hair. I like to straighten it um, just because it makes it really, really easy for the rest of the week. Then I don't really have to like fuss around with my hair at all. I just sort of lead it straight for the entire week. Um, as soon as classes start, it's like my hair's good to go. I don't have to worry about that part of anything. Um, so yeah, I pretty much use, always use this like Huawei leave-in conditioner and I use this Tresme heat protectant spray. And then I also use this one step Revlon, um, hairbrush, which is a lifesaver. I have had really, really long hair before I cut my hair off and I used to use it all the time and it was honestly the best thing. Um, I Before this, I used to use like the blow dryer with the brush and this just combines it all. It's so much easier. I also dry my hair with um, a cotton t-shirt just because when you have curly hair, it gets really, really frizzy. If you were to just use 
um, the regular towel. So I pretty much use like a really nice soft cotton t-shirt and that keeps my hair a little less frizzy throughout the day. which is another one of my essentials is having a blanket on my um, on my chair because whenever I feel cold or if I feel like just getting really really um, kind of anxious and antsy I just try to like put the blanket around me and it's comfortable and more calming um, and it's I don't know get your favorite blanket and put it on your office desk chair it's it's kind of a good idea I like it so far So well, let me start off with cleaning my desk and then um, putting my bed together really nicely. Um, yeah, let's do it. product looks like um, we're gonna be filling this out real quick and pretty much this is kind of how I have my everyday setup I have this little box um, it has all of my little wires and everything all my chargers in there that I use for school of course there are fresh tears like I talked about before and then we've got um, I've got this like lip balm healing balm you can literally use it all over your body um, so I have that in case I'm ever in class and my lips are sort of feeling a little chapped and whatnot and then yeah diffuser glasses candle water and some nice pens and then the essentials here the iPad and my MacBook another one of my very good essentials is a little snack basket um, I just like having a bunch of little snacks in here, all kinds, like I even mean, got tea in there, believe it or not. So, um, some chocolate, just anything and everything because anytime I get hungry, then I can just quickly reach into this little snack box and grab something to eat while classes are still going on. sort of cleaning up my room um there wasn't much to be done i like i said i really try to keep it clean usually um with all these online classes but let's go ahead and start filling out this calendar of mine so this is an entire month's calendar and we've got to make a brand new one for january so it turns out the laptop is dead which is why I usually have my charger plugged in right underneath the desk. Um, again, with these like crazy amount of lecture hours that you have to do, I pretty much make sure that my entire desk is set up, which means putting the charger in and having the cable readily accessible so that I can quickly plug it in. Okay, 
so let me show you guys what this upcoming semester looks like. Pretty much any color that you're going to see on this chart means that those are classes, those are times that I am going to be attending lectures, and those could be in person and they are also online. Um, and then any places that you see the color white, that just means that that's like a break and pretty much majority of the white that you're gonna see is during my lunch hour, which is from 12 to one. Calendar, what it looks like for January 4th to April 9th. And this is uh, DPT two, meaning year two. And then you're pretty much seeing all of these are my lunch hours, so like 12 to one, or this one's at two, begins at two, this one's at 1.30 but these two are at one and Mondays you can see is like pretty much the only day that I have a lot of uh, time. Um, but pretty much the rest of the schedule is really, really booked. As you can see, it starts at 7.30 a.m. and my last class can end at, we will see, at 6.20. That's like my latest class that ends at 6.20. So, um, and then these are like important dates. So these are um, on-campus lab days, which means that these are the days that I have to be um, in school instead of just like the online learning itself.